Judges Chapter 8 Then the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou calledst us not, when thou wentest to fight with the Midianites? And they chide with him sharply, to whom he said, What have I now done in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abiezer? God hath delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb, and Zeb. And what was I able to do in comparison of you? And when he had thus spoken, then their spirits abated toward him. And Gideon came to Jordan to pass over, he and the three hundred men that were with him, weary yet pursuing them. And he said unto the men of Succoth, Give, I pray you, morsels of bread unto the people that follow me, for they be weary, that I may follow after Zeba and Zalmunna, kings of Midian. And the princes of Succoth said, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna now in thine hands, that we should give bread unto thine army? Gideon then said, Therefore when the Lord hath delivered Zeba and Zalmunna into mine hand, I will tear your flesh with thorns of the wilderness and with briars. And he went up thence to Penuel, and spake unto them likewise. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Succoth answered. And he said also unto the men of Penuel, When I come again in peace, I will break down this tower. Now Zeba and Zalmunna were in Karker, and their hosts with them about fifteen thousand all that were left of all the hosts of them of the east. For there was slain an hundred and twenty thousand men that drew swords. And Gideon went through them that dwelt in tabernacles on the east side of Noba and Jogbaha, and smote the host, for the host was careless. And when Zeba and Zalmunna fled, he followed after them, and took the two kings of Midian, Zeba and Zalmunna, and discomfited all the host, So Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from battle, the sun being yet high, and took a servant of the men of Succoth, and inquired of him. And he wrote to him the princes of Succoth, and the elders thereof, even seventy and seven men. And he came unto the men of Succoth, and said, Behold, Zeba and Zalmunna, by whom ye upbraided me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmunna already in thine hands, that we should give bread unto thy weary men? Then he took the elders of the city, and thorns of the wilderness and briars, and did tear the men of Succoth with them. Also he brake down the tower of Penuel, and slew the men of the city. Then said he unto Zeba and Zalmunna, What manner of men were they, whom ye slew at Tabor? And they answered, as thou art, so were they, every one was like the children of a king. And he said, They were my brethren, even my mother's children. As the Lord liveth, if ye had saved their lives, I would not slay you. Then he said unto Jether, his firstborn son, Up, and slay them. But the boy drew not his sword, for he feared, because he was yet young. Then Zeba and Zalmunna said, Rise thou, and fall upon us, for as the man is, so is his strength. And Gideon arose, and slew Zeba and Zalmunna, and took away the ornaments that were on their camels' necks. Then the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Reign thou over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son, for thou hast delivered us out of the hand of Midian. And Gideon said unto them, I will not reign over you, neither shall my child reign over you, but the Lord shall reign over you. Again Gideon said unto them, I would desire a request of you, that you would give me every man the earrings of his prey. For they had golden earrings, because they were Ishmaelites. And they answered, We will give them. And they spread a garment, and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he required was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold, beside collars and jewels, and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian, and beside the chains that were about the camels' necks. 
and Gideon made an ephod thereof, and put it in Ophrah, his city, and all Israel went a whoring there after it, which was the destruction of Gideon and his house. Thus was Midian brought low before the children of Israel, so that they lifted up their heads no more. And the country was in quietness forty years in the days of Gideon. Then Jeroboam, the son of Joash, went and dwelt in his own house. And Gideon had seventy sons begotten of his body, for he had many wives. And his concubine that was in Shechem bare him a son also, whose name he called Abimelech. So Gideon, the son of Joash, died in a good age, and was buried in the sepulcher of Joash, his father, in Ophrah, of the father of the Abiezrites. But when Gideon was dead, the children of Israel turned away, and went a-whoring after Baal, and made Baal Beareth their god. And the children of Israel remembered not the Lord their God, which had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Neither showed they mercy on the house of Jeroboam, or Gideon, according to all the goodness which he had showed unto Israel.